Hello. In this Haas tip of the day, we're going to take a quick look at one of our coolest probing cycles. Now, whether you have a probe yet or not, understanding these basic probing cycles is going to make you a more valuable machinist. Right now, we're going to show you how to quickly pick up a work offset and an angle all in one shot with one push of the cycle start button. You can use that angle value later on with a G68 rotation or even on one of your rotary setups. Now the most common probing routines can be run on your Haas mill just by handle jogging your probe up to your part and then answering some fill in the blank questions on the Haas probing page. This couldn't be easier. Now this is the probing page under VPS, Visual Programming System, on a next gen control. The machines are leaving the factory today. To get to the VPS page, we're gonna press the edit key. Now on this page, we have a long list of probing cycles we can use. Now here's a cycle that we're gonna run, angle, corner, measure. All we've gotta do now is fill in the blanks. First thing it's asking us for is our work offset. It defaulted to 54, and we're actually gonna leave it right there because we're gonna write to work offset G54. Next item down the list, it's asking for an X value. What it means by X value is the distance between probe points along the X axis. What's going to happen here is we're going to handle jog our probe above the corner that we'd like to set our work offset to. Then when we hit cycle start when we're all done, the probe is going to move 20 millimeters in the X, take a hit point, then it's going to move some other distance. How far is the machine going to go between the first and the second hit points along this X axis? That's what we're filling in here. This is a six inch part. I'm gonna go ahead and enter four inches. Question three, same thing for the Y axis. We're gonna handle jog in front of the corner of the part. When it comes time to probe, the control is gonna move the probe up 20 millimeters before it takes that first probe hit. Now, how far we want it to go for that second hit? I'm gonna enter 1.7 inches. Last question, we're almost done here. This is pretty easy. What corner would we like to probe from? Which corner do we want to set as our work offset? We're going to set this front left corner, corner one. If we were going to go off this back right corner, we would choose corner number three. Now, when we enter those X and Y values, those are just lengths. You don't have to put in a plus or minus. The control figures all of that out based on what corner we've decided to start from. Now all we've got to do is follow the on-screen instructions and press F4 to generate the code. I'm going to output this to MDI. Now I'm going to go ahead and load up our part, handle jog that probe right in front of this front left corner, and press cycle start. Okay, the machine is actually probing along the Y-axis first. It moved its 20 millimeters, probed once, and then moved another 1.7. Now it's doing the X. Here's the cool part. Here's the thing I'm excited about. Not only did it write my work offset, my G54XY value, but it wrote the angle along my x-axis, that front face, to macro variable 189. Now, we're working on a next generation control here. Macro variable 189 and macro variable 10,189 are interchangeable on this control. Now, on my macro variable page, it says that 10,189 is at 0 .004. That means that my x-axis angle is four thousandths of a degree. Now, what about my y-axis? What angle is that at? Well, that value is stored under variable 192, or 10,192 on a next-gen control. Again, 10,192 and 192 are interchangeable on a next-gen control. If you're on a classic control, you'll just be looking for 189 and 192. So our 10,192 is 89.95 degrees. Now that's a saw cut surface. It's not perfectly at 90 degrees, but we expected that. Now I don't want to look at the macro variable page every time I want to see what my angles are. So I've actually set up my timers and counters page to display 189 X angle and 192 Y angle. Now for more help setting up your macro labels, check out our Timers and Counters video. We've made an entire video that shows you how to set up those labels. So our raw stock was pretty close to square, right? Let's go ahead and break loose the bolts on this vise. We'll kick it over at some funny angle 
and we'll run this exact same cycle again and see what we get. Okay, so we've got some new numbers here. Looks like pound 189, my x-axis angle, is now at 3.394 degrees, while my y-axis angle is at 93.359. We can take those angles and use them in a G68 rotation program, or even just take that value and put it in as a B or C axis work offset on our rotaries. But what if you don't have the template that we have on our next gen control? Well, this shouldn't be a problem. If you've got a Renishaw probe on a Haas mill, we can show you how to probe this angle. Okay, so here's the code that we're gonna use. You already have the correct macros on your machine. We're gonna start with G0, G90. That's just a safe startup line. We're gonna follow that up with a G65 P9023 A15. You're gonna enter that just as you see it on your screen. This is gonna call up the correct macro to find that corner and write to variables 189 and 192 with those angles that we're looking for. Next, we're gonna enter an I value. This is the distance along the X axis between our probe points. That probe is gonna move 20 millimeters, take one probe hit, then it's gonna move over by our I value. In this case, I four inches before it makes that second hit point. Next, we're gonna add our J value. In our example, we moved up 1.7 inches between our Y axis probe hit points. Next, we come to our B value. This is a corner that we'd like to start from. One, two, three, or four. We started out at corner one, so I used a B1 decimal. This is it, our S value, S54 decimal point. This means that we're gonna to write to work offset G54. If you wanted to write to an extended work offset, like G154 P30, we would just use an S154.30. If you just wanna check an angle and you don't wanna to write to any work offset, you can just leave the S value off altogether. Well, now you're all set to go ahead and probe the angle on your part. Now be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. We're gonna make videos that show you how to take that angle and use it with a G68 rotation. We're also gonna write some custom probing macros that we can use to set up our rotaries. I'm looking forward to it. That's it, and thanks for watching this Haas Tip of the Day. Thank you.